when we're watching Laker basketball this year, what is the one, maybe two things that the layman can look at to say, all right, the Lakers are running it well tonight or things are going to work? What, what do we need to look at? I think, we've, I think we've covered the things that you'll identify when you put the game on TV and you'll see, you know, like a third of the screen or a third of the court on the screen. What's happening with these guards when they bring the ball up? We don't want them having to turn their back and bring the ball down and you know, muscle the ball into the offensive end. We want them to recognize the moment of truth, make an appropriate pass to any of their four teammates to get this penetration. This is what we're trying to do. First principle, right? Got that, Billy? First principle is penetration. So the ball's got to get beyond the front line of the defense. That's like a military term. You got to get by that front line, right? So once the ball's in the front line, and the forming of the triangle, you'll see that happening. You'll see that formation of the triangle happening. How quick do they activate that offense? This two pass, two pass, two pass, or two pass. Those four two passes being the key pass that activates a series of actions. Now, a lot of teams call them plays. We call them series of actions because, as you saw, all four of the guys can still be open after those series of options but not one person's designated to get the ball. Everybody has an opportunity to score. And then when you're through with those series of options, you're still back in your offense where you can go back and run it again, okay? So those are the things that I think you will identify right away. When we run this game plan, and we have the ball maybe 90, 85 to 90 times or possessions in a game, Brian is sitting on the bench charting. Kurt used to do it when he was a novice. He's charting, Tex was the man that started doing this, what is happening on every sequence. We can say, PP, pinch post, 15 foot jump shot, on every possession and know, as we read down every possession in a quarter, what we've done the last six, seven, eight, nine times down the floor. These are the things that have happened. We've been successful or unsuccessful here, and this is what we want to do. When we run 85 possessions, we think we're going to probably get into the triangle 50 times. So that's about 60, 65 percent of the time. There's a lot of free action, there's a lot of live ball, there's a lot of free throws. But in those 50 possessions, how successful were we and what's our percentage that we got and what was the highest rate in which we attacked a team? Some teams it's going to be two pass to top. Some teams it's going to be two pass to the post. And other times we're going to have, they're going to take away both those passes and we're going to have to use the counters, which can be the backdoor step or the two pass to the corner. So those are the things that you'll see and identify when you look at the game on TV, and you'll see us out on timeout, and we're sitting out here in a little cluster. I'm asking Brian, what's happened? What's our percentage? What rate are we working at? And where are we being successful? Well, it started out as Tex Winter having something to do to stay busy during the course of the game so he didn't rag on me all the time about what was going on or yell at the referees or whatever, and it kind of kept his nervous energy limited, but it became a great tool because we walk out on the floor and we could, you know, check out what is happening in that quarter and see what was working, what wasn't. Well, during the course of this year, you know, most of our offense has been run with Kobe on the weak side. And so he's either got an isolation or pinch post action sitting there. It's been very fruitful to us. Great passing and teamwork. Out of the offense.